So, first interview ever that I make in this place, uh, new place for the Web Live Zone where we publish the web magazine. And uh, we start uh, with uh, one of the most influential guitar players of our time, uh, Mr. Pat Martino. Mr. Pat Martino, when did you start playing guitar? It's easy to talk about today. Let's talk about a little bit about the past. I started playing guitar when, when that toy started treating me well, <laughs> as a child. I, we didn't understand. When? It's, it's my toy. The guitar is my toy. When, the, when, the toy, when I started having fun with it, ah, like okay. a toy, I, I never stopped having fun. I understand, I understand now. So when the guitar responded and said, okay, then it started good. When was your first gig and where did you play it? The first paid gig and where did you play it? Gee, that's, that's a good question. My first, my first performance was in the Sons of Italy in South Philadelphia, Pen Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Sons of Italy, my father brought me there. I was 12 years old and I sat in with the band and I, and I played a Johnny Smith solo that I copied from a record. And unfortunately, the band was in another key. <laughs> so I learned, I learned that you, it doesn't work when you copy from records. Okay. At least you have to adapt it a bit, right? <laughs> okay. At least I have to be honest. <laughs> Correct. So fr from then until today, you really are a very influential guitar player, a master of masters. How does it feel? Do you feel a responsibility every once in a while? I feel that... Um, I, I first, uh, first of all, I, I f the compliment itself, I appreciate so deeply. I can't put that into words. But it makes me feel m no more than a musician. I enjoy people as, a, as, as life. The music, I use the music to give me the opportunity to interact with folks like yourselves. Musicians have a tendency of just uh, telling jokes telling jokes. After they perform, they tell jokes, jokes, jokes. I enjoy that too. But I, I enjoy life. Oh, m m above everything else. With everyone. Right. Some guitar players that have been important uh, in your development. So many. So many. At the beginning, um, Johnny Smith, Les Paul, even, even farther back. Les Paul, Johnny Smith, uh, Joe Pass, Wes Montgomery. These were close friends of mine. Wes Montgomery. Um, gee, so many. So many I can't say. I mean, up until now, Emmanuel Barueca, Emmanuel Barueca, um, Nelson Varez in Paris, in Paris. So many, um, so many. So many individuals, so many artists. What did you think about the, dev the, the development that guitarism has taken lately? There are some guitar players that are strongly rooted to the traditional, and some guitar players that have developed new languages, new ways. Some go close, come close to rock, some goes to fusion. What is your opinion about these uh, branches that guitarism has taken in the late uh, 10, 12 years, 12, 20, 15 years? I. I personally, I, I take very important to be aware of the culture that surrounds the artist, that communicates in that zone. I think that it's very important that to listen to what's being said, I should know a little bit about the surroundings that gave it birth. And um, I respect each and every sector of the city. I have where I live, there are others where they live too. And uh, I enjoy uh, participating, I enjoy an open mind and the opportunity to be stimulated by other individuals who are powerful in their community. Correct, Correct. very good, very good answer. One more thing, actual project of uh, Mr. Pat Martino as a guitar player. Are you referring to my first project? Actual, from now, now, nowadays. No what I am doing now. What I am doing now is um, 
I finished a documentary recently with a neuropsychologist regarding recently what has taken place over the last 20 years. Um, and that will be released as a video, as a, um, a documentary, as I say, um, in the fall. And it's called Martino Unstrung. And in that particular project, some very close friends of mine have participated along with me. And they include um, actors and musicians and uh, um, people in the medical profession as well. Um, Peter Townsend's in it. Joe Pesci is in it. Pete Townsend's in it. Joe Pesci's in it. Carlos Santana is in it. One of the greatest neurosurgeons in, in the Western Hemisphere is in it. Uh, Simeon, Frederick Simeon. There are many people involved in that particular project. But uh, even closer to now, I'm involved in a motion picture with Parco Films. They're coming in from Rome, from Hollywood, and from Paris. And uh, here during the festival, we'll be filming uh, moments with myself and my wife, interviews for a motion picture on the basis of my life, my life story. It's very interesting, very interesting, very interesting. Well, okay. So we wait for you for next time you come in Perugia to play for us. And we will ask you more things about what's going on in your life, in your music, and in all your project. Thanks for coming with us. Thanks for being with us. And have a nice gig wherever you play here in Perugia. It's such a pleasure. I can't tell you what Perugia means to me. Each and every time I have the opportunity to come here and perform in Perugia and with Carlos. Yes. I love very, very deeply. It's very special. He's a very special man. He's a very special king. <laughs> yes, I, I, I agree. I agree.